What's going on guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here and in this Jira tutorial we'll learn two very important things. Thing number one, how do you create a custom field? Which is very important if you have a specific custom field you want to put in, whether it's acceptance criteria or anything else you want to put in your Jira tickets, we'll learn how to do that. The other important thing is how do you pre-fill fields with a templated text? So let's say I have a certain process in your company and you want this, uh, you want to create a field and with a text that will follow a certain process. Let's jump right into it. So first of all, uh, here's, I'm in a project, it's just a scrum project. It doesn't really matter because the custom fields are uh, per Jira, not per project. So you will have to have your administrator rights to do that. But if you do, well, let's start. So uh, this is a little bit a weird way of me getting to custom fields, but uh, let's assume we're on project right now. We click on project settings, then we scroll to fields, and then uh, there's a fields for this particular project. But if I click on action and edit fields, we are getting into the custom fields world. So then the last thing, I click on custom fields on the left. And here I am in my custom fields, the Jira admin custom fields. So now let's say I wanna create a new custom field that is called acceptance criteria. So for that, I need to click on add custom field. Here I can choose what is my custom field. It can be a date. Let's say I have a due date or stuff like that. It can be labels, it can be number field, let's say you have some weird estimation uh, field specifically for you, it can be a list, uh, but we're gonna go with a multi-line text field today. So click on that and click next. Here I can provide any name of my field. My field will be called acceptance criteria. And this description, this is what will appear on this gray text just below the field so people understand what it is. Uh, acceptance criteria for the ticket. Then I click create. Now I need to select what boards have access to this field. So I will select uh, two of my boards, uh, or two of my screens, sorry. What screens will have access to that? I will select Scrum Bug Screen and Scrum Default Issue Screen. And then I click Update. You can select any of them or whatever you choose here. So now I have my acceptance criteria right here in Custom Fields. It's a text field, multi-line and uh, Yes, it appears to all the issues in those two screens. And right now we're done and uh, we can easily go and if we create a ticket, we'll be able to see acceptance criteria appear there. So let's try that. I have acceptance criteria and here it is. Lost my description. So my description is here. Acceptance criteria is here. So you can see this is this uh, description for the acceptance criteria. So we already know now how to create a custom fields, but I want this custom field to have a certain text. So I want it to have something like, uh, example, as PO, I, I should have a custom field. For example, this will give people an example what acceptance criteria is. I might also have uh, something like business value. Stakeholders. So I want to have some pre-filled text that uh, people will know what to put in this acceptance criteria and to maybe have some example. Well, this example will probably can go into description as well but let's say I want it to be right there. So this will be my text. I'll copy it. I need to cancel this. 
because I want this to apply every time when acceptance criteria, uh, when the ticket is created with acceptance criteria. For that, I need to click on three dots next to acceptance criteria. Then I need to click, click configure. And here I have edit default value. So if I click edit default value, I see it's empty right now. I want to set my weird text. Uh, probably you will have a much better text than I do, but it's just an example. So I want to set my weird text as a uh, default here. So then I click set default. Okay, now we're done. My weird text is there. Let's try it again. I click on plus. Since I already added acceptance criteria before, it just appeared, but I can uh, get rid of it again and then put it back in and the text is still there. So whenever you add acceptance criteria to uh, any of the uh, screens now, it will have the pre-filled value, which is very good because right now if I have certain process, my team can follow this process and I don't have to put those um, sort of headings in anymore. Some people are asking, can I do that right in the description? Unfortunately not. Uh, I think there are plugins for this, but by default you cannot do it in a description. But well, I guess what you can do is you can hide description and you can put a new custom description and do it like that. I haven't tried that. Maybe you lose this ASCII, uh, ASCII field, wiki field. So be careful with that. But uh, this is how I would do it. But ideally, just, just put a new, new uh, text field and you'll be fine. Hopefully that helps. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comments down below. If you like my tutorials, they, more of them are coming. Please subscribe to this channel because I really appreciate you. And click like so you, I get more exposure and more people learn how to do those custom fields. If you still need help with your Jira, uh, Define Agile offers it as well. Go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation, and let's see how I and my team can help your business. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.